Hey everyone, it's uh, four days after the New York City Marathon today and I'm just starting to get outside a little bit and try and walk around some. Uh, I've been feeling pretty good honestly over the last couple of days. Um, nothing is too sore really as far as the ankle um, and I think because the ankle was ultimately what slowed me down during the race, uh, I'm really not feeling too bad in the legs either. I don't think I you know, pushed myself all out that my legs can handle. It just kind of held me back, you know, with everything with the ankle like I already talked about. I think I'm gonna take some time in the gym today. Um, probably do only some things with my upper body. I'm still gonna avoid any kind of weight training for my legs just yet. The leaves are finally changing here, so I'm just checking out some of the fall colors. Um, it was surprising actually in New York City itself, in Central Park, everything was still fairly green. I think just because it's been pretty warm this year, it hasn't really changed yet too much. So everything's kind of making its way down this way to the south parts of New York. Um, I will talk about today, once we get back inside, what's next. Obviously, now that the New York City Marathon's over, it's time to think about what I'm going to train for, uh, you know, in the next training block. And I started to talk about some of the things and drop some hints. Some of you were able to guess what I was thinking about. Now that racing's back, there's also a good chance that I'll race a few more 5Ks or things like that along the way uh, during the training for the half marathon. So we will have that. I also just want to take a moment to highlight some of the awesome comments um, since posting the marathon video. Obviously it wasn't the best I've ever done for the New York City Marathon, but nonetheless everyone has been so supportive. So I just want to highlight a few comments here. As you can see, in general, just everyone's been so kind, um, you know, so impressed with, you know, what I did, even though I, you know, think it was fine <laughs> um, and I'm happy with it. I talked a little bit about it the other day, but like I said, everyone's just been so, so supportive and so happy for me and for all the other runners out there. So it was pretty cool. All right. So like I said, I'm just going to spend like five minutes on the elliptical, probably maybe another five on the bicycle, but, uh, we have the gym to ourselves, and yeah, I'm just still feeling some soreness in my quads. I think that's pretty common. I think most people feel it there. I just want to loosen that up as much as I can, do a little bit of a lift on the upper body, um, you know, while I'm not putting in a lot of mileage, and then we'll go back home. Still need to clean up everything from the city, honestly. Everything's out, so I'm going to put that away, and then, like I said, we'll talk and break down the actual next races that I have planned and we'll see if we can get into those and I'll uh, yeah, just talk about where I'm going to be and how my training is going to progress from here. Again. All right, let's get out of this gym, take a shower, and I will break down the races like I promised.
All right, we're back inside. So let's talk about the next races for me, for my training block and what's gonna happen uh, in the upcoming months. First things first, the primary race that I'd like to get into is the New York City Half Marathon. And we did have somebody guess it, Stephen Green, you guessed it right. You guessed the New York City Half Marathon. That's the next race that I'd like to run, but I don't have guaranteed entry. And this one is a race that um, in the past has actually been difficult to get into for a lot of people. Um, I think it's one of the only, at least New York Roadrunners races, maybe the only race that races through Times Square in Manhattan. So I think it has a lot of popularity for people outside of New York and outside of the US even who want to run a premier half marathon. Um, they like the idea of running through Times Square and it is pretty cool. I mean, it's a neat experience. Um, someone who's lived in New York, I, I don't really know if that's something that I necessarily want to do or have to do, but it's definitely a cool experience to do it at least once. Um, but nonetheless, so that's why it can be a little bit difficult to get into. The lottery for the New York City Half Marathon is opening on November 18th, and the race itself is going to be on March 20th, 2022. So that's the main goal is to get into that race via the lottery. Um, I've done it once before where I did get in through the lottery, and I've also had an experience where I got rejected through the lottery. So I'm not too sure on the data as far as how many people get in versus who don't. So I don't know the percentage on that, but either way, that's going to be the primary race that I try and get into in the beginning of 2022 and would ultimately be my next big and main training block um, in the upcoming months. The backup plan for the half marathon there is the Brooklyn Half Marathon and Marathon. This is a race that I haven't run before. It's actually run by another kind of, um, I don't wanna say smaller because they have a pretty big footprint. I know a lot of people who have raced with them before, but it's NYC Runs or New York City Runs. It's not New York Roadrunners or NYRR who hosts the you know New York City Half, the, the New York City Marathon. Um, that's NYRR. This is New York City Runs or NYC Runs, and they have a Brooklyn Half and Full Marathon that they're gonna be hosting on April 24th, 2022. So that's why I say, you know, if I don't get into the lottery, I'll still have time to sign up for the April half marathon um, with NYC runs. And that's a course that I can run in Brooklyn. Um, it's cool, it'll be interesting and a, and a new course for me because I've never run it before. I've never run this route. I've never seen even exactly how it goes through the streets here. Um, but I'll throw up the course map just in case anyone's curious now. That will be the backup plan. It shouldn't be done by lottery. I believe this is something that's an open registration there's just not as big of a draw as the New York City Half Marathon. So those are the two things. Those are the next big races. Obviously, um, you know, after this week, I'm feeling very good. I mean, I even just now after the gym and using the elliptical and the bike, I think I'm going to start using the bike and the elliptical even tomorrow, um, possibly for closer to like a half hour, um, probably siding more with just the elliptical and getting on there for, you know, 20 to 30 minutes because my legs are feeling pretty good and there's no impact or anything like that. So I think that's a good option just to get Get my cardio going again and, and really start to start to get my training moving in the right direction at least um, even if my ankle's still a little bit sore and I'm not necessarily going out for a run just yet probably throughout November and December as we get back to running it will just be base building so you'll see me getting myself back up to around 30 miles probably this time before I even start the training block so that way my mileage can go up from there and so my body is very used to and settled with the 30 miles per week so that's not uncomfortable and not you know putting too much strain on my legs on my bones or anything like that and then we'll go from there and really kick off, you know, the full, full training block um, once I'm settled at that nice base set of miles. So that's it. Just want to thank everybody again for all the really nice comments that I've been getting on the marathon video. Um, like I said, it's just really cool to have that for myself, but I'm glad that so many people are enjoying it. And definitely come stick around. There's going to be more racing, more training, more product reviews, everything in the future. Um, you know, you can see here there's a ton of new viewers as opposed to, you know, people who have already been around the channel. Um, so I'd love it if some of you want to subscribe and, and join along for the journey. Um, 
it's just a really great community. Obviously, I've seen that even more than I expected, um, just with all the nice comments and, and everything over the last couple of days. So thank you all, and I hope to see you in the next video.